Hi class! Welcome to CGS 2531 for Summer A 2016. I'm your instructor, Dr. Pamela Dickrell, and I'm going to take you through the Canvas shell kind of as an introduction to the course. Since it's a completely online course, we're going to do everything through Canvas. So I want you to see the tools in here and what you should look for and understand how it's structured online. So this is a three credit course. It is a summer A course, so it's going to move pretty fast. It's six weeks and five assignments, and you've got to keep up with the pace. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge in the course, is making sure you get your assignments in on time. All right, so here's the catalog description. We're going to learn through some word processing, spreadsheet management, data analysis, graphical display of data, multimedia presentations, um, no prereqs or corecs, general course objectives. I want you to be able to use this software platform. So what we're talking about is Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint, which I know a number of you have already used some, but if you go through the video instruction items we go through here, I think you'll get to a level of use, a level of understanding that's really going to set you apart from other people looking for internships and jobs, that your, your use level isn't here. You're a step up and you can do things that other people might not be able to do that'll really help you excel in internships or in your jobs out there when you start going to that point or in getting your assignments done in this class and other classes better than other people and more efficiently and having them look more professional which does come into grading what, um, what not if things in certain courses look like you've put some time, some professional organization in, in using these software platforms for words, Word documents out, or in Excel, different graphical designs and data analysis, or in PowerPoint, making an effective communication through presentations. So I'm your instructor. This is my contact information here. I'm in the Nuclear Sciences building. We have three teaching assistants in our course, Erica, Bridget, and Johnny, and their email addresses will be up here very soon. But the main thing to know, too, is office hours. So our three TAs are going to hold online office hours, and that is done through the conferences tool in Canvas. So over here on the left, you see something called conferences. There's two ways you can get to the online office hours. One is following this conferences link when the given time of a TA's office hours is online. Or two, you'll also receive an email notification each time a TA starts online office hours. And you can follow that email notification to get to conferences as well. And that's a nice, um, since it's an online course, we're delivering online office hours where you can get to those office hours from anywhere in the world as long as you have a decent internet connection. The office hours are going to be Mondays 6 to 8 p.m., Tuesdays 6 to 8 p.m., and then another section of Tuesday 8 to 10 p.m. So two hours on Monday, four hours Tuesday night. The timing for these is because all of your assignments are going to be due on a Wednesday by 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So you can get a lot of help Mondays and Tuesday nights in preparation and make sure your assignment's well done and in early on Wednesday so you have everything uploaded well ahead of that 5 p.m. Uh, timeline on Wednesdays. This little, just a little cartoon about how to write an email to your instructor or TA. Part of this course is learning professional communication through software tools. This will help you in this course. This will go a long way in your other courses or if you're applying for internships, if you're studying professional communication. It's a little bit of a joke. But not really. If you're going to write me or the TAA an email, read through this, think about it, check the syllabus for stuff first, be professional and concise and clear in your communication out in emails to us, and we will be professional and clear back in our response. Meeting times. There's no actual meeting time. It's an asynchronous online course, meaning I'm going to put a bunch of videos up for you to follow. There's some other tutorials we'll talk through in lynda.com. You are going to have to self-pace yourself. It's summer A. It's going to move very quick. Set aside the time every day to work on this course. You need to set aside at least an hour a day of going through watching videos, working on your assignments, so you're not saving it all up. You'll run out of time in the summer A offering. So you need to imagine that you're going to a live class that's a three-credit class that's offered summer A. It's very compressed. Uh, assignment grading dispute procedure. Summary schedule moves fast. 
you're going to have to submit any requests for regrades to your grading TA one day after your grade's up. Summer A moves really, really quick. You're going to have your assignment. You're going to turn it in Wednesday by 5 p.m. When they get it graded, which should be by Fridays, Fridays at 5 p.m., you will have until Saturday at 5 p.m. to go in and write a professional email to your TA about any disputes you have for it. So course style and story. It's a web course completely online. You're going to learn a couple of things and one is the main function. So I can make Word documents, I can make Excel spreadsheets, I can set up data analysis in Excel, I can make a PowerPoint presentation, I can do all those tools and menus and use pivot tables and do macros in Word. So the mechanics of it is one thing you're going to learn. A lot of that will be from lynda.com, which we'll talk about. The other thing you're going to walk away from this course is some professional development and problem solving on yourself. So the assignments are going to be centered around research on yourself, where you want to go with your career, where you might want to work, looking at companies you might want to work for, doing budgeting for those companies, doing some public data analysis related to your field. Um, setting up a PowerPoint presentation like you're mock interviewing at a company that you're going to want to go work for. The assignments are going to be very individualized. So you're hopefully walking away from more than this class than a check mark. Yeah, you've learned all those mechanics. You can do those things in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And there's a lot of useful tools in there. But you'll hopefully also walk away of doing some research of what it's going to be, either doing internships or young professional and researching companies and budgeting for living in different cities and doing a data analysis related to your fields. So you're going to learn mechanics of stuff and the assignments are going to be, now I know those mechanics, let's apply them to me personally and your career path forward for either internship if you're freshman, sophomore or looking for a regular job if you're junior, senior when you're doing some of these assignments. Uh, class schedule, it's offered online. I have to enter all these things legally. I have to say class schedule, meeting location, material and supply fee. These are UF um, syllabi required items. So class schedule, it's offered online. You can read through this. Meeting location online, no material and supply fee. Textbook and software, no textbook. There's no book you have to buy. There's no publisher software you have to buy. But you do need to have the Microsoft Office Suite. So either Office 365 or Office 2016, and it can be for Mac or PC. Um, if you don't have that software suite on your computer, there's a link here under textbook and software where while you're a UF student, you can get Office 365 for free while you're a student. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure you have Office 365 or 2016 on either your Mac or PC. If not, go to this link and get it, because you're a UF student, it'll be free. So go there and get it. Uh, recommended reading. There's no really specific readings to read out of a book. Some of the individual assignments we're going to send you to the UF Career Resource website. There's going to be some readings about resumes and cover letters. You're going to do some data research for job postings. So each assignment might have some individual readings, but there's not a book we're referring to. Thoughts on the course? Read this. This is kind of my philosophy. Any course should have a good story. This story is going to revolve around you. So you're going to think about why you've chosen the major you have, what companies you might want to work for or internship for, um, how to make your resume, how to tune cover letters and resumes to specific companies, going through and selecting data analysis on cost of living, how to do a budget and plan out as either an internship or a young adult. And that's a first set of data analysis. Another set of data analysis will be looking at publicly available data for your different fields you're going to be in. Um, and we're going to do another third set of data analysis. There will be three data analysis projects in Excel or assignments. And then the fourth one will be um, a PowerPoint where you'll have to have a microphone. So make sure you have a working microphone on your computer where you're going to record an audio presentation in PowerPoint like you're interviewing. It's called an elevator pitch. You're going to do some quick answers with images in PowerPoint like you're interviewing for a job. So it'll be a neat portfolio you'll walk away with using those tools, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but more tied to you and where you want to intern or where you want to start your career. So you're building something that's more of a professional research through these software platforms for your future. Assignment due dates, they're all due on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. 
all the due dates will be in Canvas. Think about it. If it's a Wednesday morning, you better say, I, I need to upload this before lunch. Last minute computers issues are not a valid excuse for late assignments. There's a very strict late policy in this class. It's summer A, it moves fast. There's five assignments, there's six weeks. There's no assignment due the first week, but weeks two, three, four, five, six, every Wednesday by 5 p.m. you need to have had something uploaded and you need to double check it in Canvas, all right? There's no attendance uh, requirements. Expectations are you're doing the assignments. On the lynda.com ones, you're watching all of those videos. I expect you to watch all the videos and sub-videos and go through and manipulate their little um, files that they have for you to work along to learn, learn the mechanics. Um, so that's an expectation that you're going to be an adult. You're going to take that responsibility on and go through and do all these activities that lead up to the skills that we expect you to have in the assignments. Grading assignment and pace, it moves fast. There's five assignments. Each is worth 20 points. That's 100% of your grade. Each one is a big chunk of your grade. So upload it early. Log out of Canvas. Log back in. Make sure it's there, OK? I don't want you guys to lose points for things are being late. But that is a big thing in this class, especially for summer A offering. So I'm going to read this out loud. If your assignment's one minute to 24 hours late, you're losing 50% just for tardiness before we take points off for quality of work. If it's over 24 hours late, even one minute, you get zero credit. Don't miss points for lateness or tardiness on this assignment. A big use of professional use of software, internships, industry, is being timely, budgeting enough time to make sure you have things done properly, budgeting enough time for computer issues. You can turn any assignment in early. They're due Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Turn them in on Monday. There's no reason to save it to the last minute and saying, I was uploading at 4.58 and I had an issue. I'm sorry, you're going to lose points. Part of this is developing your abilities to use the software. So help me help you be successful and leave plenty of time for those things, OK? These are good technical skills. Here's the grading scale. So you guys should be able to figure that out. Let's see. Honesty policy. Be honest, do your own work. We check everything and turn it in. I've caught a few people here and there. They go to honor court. Um, it's serious consequence. Do your own work. It takes more effort to copy someone else's than to do your own work. And this is something you get something out of. You're building your resume. You're getting ready for internships. This can be a very valuable tool for you, and I don't have any tolerance for cheating. All right. Uh, accommodation for students with disabilities, if you need to register with them, do. They're a great service. You have counseling services. If you need someone to talk to anytime, please go to this website. They're really great to help people. F Field and Fork Food Pantry. Um, if you are on the UF campus and you are short on food, this is a great resource for you guys. I know as an undergrad, there was times I was short on food. You know, students should go hungry. Um, so please see them and see their website if you need help with food. Career Resource Center, we're going to use them a lot. And there's UPD Department, and this is more related to people on campus if you need those services. You have software use policy. You have course evaluation policy. These are, these are standard things. All right, we went through this top part. Now let's keep going from here. Course outline and schedule a video assignment. So in this point down in the class, so from here down, I'm going to be building all the things going through intro videos, what to watch, your lynda.com stuff, my little videos that relate to the assignments. So from here, it'll be a linear path down from this orange part down here. So the first thing you guys are going to do in this course is learn about Microsoft Word, assuming you have your version of Office installed in here. And you're going to start with the Word Essential Lectures. These lectures are going to be through lynda.com. We're going to talk about that. But these are all the topics you're going to learn in here. And a lot of people say, I know Word. I've had a lot of students that have reflected afterwards saying, I learned a lot from this. I thought I knew Word. Do it. It's going to build your professional skills. You're going to have a leg up on the competition when you're doing other assignments in school or you try to go work at a company. So what to do first? Well, watch one of the Microsoft Word video series below based on if you have a PC or Mac and which version of Office you have. Um, so read through this. I don't have to read it out loud for you guys, you're adults. But lynda.com. Lynda.com is a really cool training tool. 
you, as a student, have free access to lynda.com. So we are going to use that tool for our mechanics of Word, our mechanics of Excel, and our mechanics of PowerPoint lectures. So the first thing you're going to do is watch a series on Microsoft Word. And the reason we use lynda.com is a couple of reasons. One, you can use a PC or Mac. doesn't matter then, because they have it for both platforms. Or either version of Office, if you have 365 or 2016. So it allows a lot more freedom in that. The other reason is it's done really well. So to get to lynda.com, read this little middle portion. You're going to go through a UF portal first. You can't go straight there and get free access. You have to go through a UF portal. Follow this link to e-learning. And when you get there, um, there's going to be this login to services portion here. And you follow this link to lynda.com here. And I'm already logged into GatorLink, so I don't have to enter my password again. But if you did, uh, if you weren't, you just have one of those little UF login portals to do it. And what we want you to do in here is once you've logged into lynda.com, you can follow one of these links down here based on which computer type you have. I'm going to zoom out a little so it makes a little more sense to you guys. So once you've logged in to um, lynda.com, you're going to go through and watch one of these four series. You're not going to do all four. The first thing you're going to do is watch your Word series. So say you have a PC and you have Office 365. I'm going to follow this link. If I have a Mac and Office 365, I would follow this link. PC Word 2016, this one, or PC Word 2016, that one. So let's say I have PC Office 365. I'm going to follow this link. I've already gone through the UF portal to log into lynda.com. And what I'm going to see here is a really neat series of videos. And you're going to go through and watch all of them in their entirety. So what you have in these are a video lessons up here. And all the topics it's going to go through on the left here. In total, this one is 5 hours and 41 minutes. Again, leave plenty of time for these. But let me show you just a little bit about what it looks like. It goes through and breaks it out into little bite-sized videos. Three minutes here, two minutes there. Um, and you can go back and re-watch the portions you need help with. So you're going to go through top to bottom, watch them all, and learn these items about how to work through word mechanics. Now when you're doing this, to get the most out of it, you're also going to want to go to this Downloads here on lynda.com and download some exercise files. If you download those files, you'll be able to work along with your video instructor and do all the mechanics they're doing in Word so you have the same thing out from them. So we do this, this series, it's done really well. They break them down into little bits. But another cool thing is that it'll go through and do a written transcript. So as they're going through and working through things for you in, par in part of these lessons, it tells you which exercise file to use. Go through, you'll follow through their instructions on here. If you pick your right type, PC or Mac, and your version of Word, you'll see the same menu bars up here, and you can follow along in what they're doing to manipulate it through. So go through this whole series. There's also a running written transcript down here that if you want to read what they're saying and you need that um, word written help to correlate what they're saying, you have another reference here. Great series. They do it really well, and that's why we're going to go in through and do that for that portion of the training. So that'll be the mechanics of Word. First thing you want to do is pick one of these four, go through, watch the whole series, manipulate their exercise files to build up your skill base in Word. Following that, we're going to do assignment one, and I'll talk about that in the next video. But this is the welcome video, how to get started, make sure you have your software, getting started in that first thing and going through and watching those lynda.com videos. What do you do if you have questions? Again, they'll be online office hours. They'll start week one. The other thing is there's a discussion board over here. So on the left-hand side, if you go to discussions, if you have any questions, ask them on the discussion board, because me, the TAs, your peers can all help you there. 
and there's a pinned discussion on the top that describes how to use a discussion board. Basically says, put all your questions in here because we'll help you in there. I'll check it at night. TAs will check it at night. I'll check it when I get up in the morning and take the kids to school. You know, I'll, I'll go in and like do little quick answers in there and it helps everyone. And you guys can help each other on the discussion board as well. So use discussions for your questions. There's f five assignment topics. If you have a question about assignment one, put it in the assignment one discussion. All right. If you have a question about something you think the whole class will benefit from that's not about one of these assignments, put it in the other topics discussion. Again, welcome to class. It's an online class. It's going to move really fast for summer A. So help me help you be successful and just stay on top of the assignments. You're going to walk away with a lot of knowledge of the mechanics of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but then again, a more personal portfolio using those softwares, uh, software platforms about yourself, where you want might want to work, cover letters, resumes, data analysis, budgets, and, and um, an interview through PowerPoint and delivering media that way. So welcome to class. I'm very excited about the summary offering. It should be fun, it should be fast, but it should be a great time. And I hope you guys walk away with a lot of success and something you can use for the future from this class. Take care.